Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and this is to explain a little something that some of you are actually having as a problem and there's really no fix except going manually to download uh, something which is an update. Um, so when you have optional updates in Windows, one of the problems of Windows 10 is that it can only show you one optional update at a time. I don't know why they did it like that, but you know, technically there should be all the t optional updates should be there and you choose which one you want to install. So one problem arose from somebody in the um, viewers that uh, sent me a comment saying, I have the Xbox Pass problem with the update that I want to have to fix it, but the problem is I don't see the update and I don't know why. And here's why, because after asking a question, he told me that the only thing he sees is 21H1 feature update optional download. That's the problem. So when you go and you check out your Windows updates, all optional downloads are um, one at a time, which means that if you were one of those that had 21H1 waiting, and then you needed to have one of the optional up, uh, downloads for bug fixes, you don't see it. As long as 21H1 optional download is there, you're not going to see anything else. So that also would explain another thing that I've had from a few viewers saying, well, I've got this optional download for this thing and I don't see anything else. I don't see 21H1, for example, but I do have bug fixing downloads that are, uh, you know, optional. Well, that's also another problem. If you have any optional download there that is available and you have not installed it, what happens is that you won't see anything else that is optional downloads and install. And that means the only way to work around if you don't want to install that whatever you have there is to go and manually download it from the Windows Update catalog, which most people aren't very, very um, tech savvy to use. So it's, you know, one of those weird things at Windows 10 that is happening and um, that's one of the weirdness of Microsoft from time to time when you see this so anybody that has a, a, like problems and wanted to have one of the bug fixing updates including our friend here with the Xbox pass problem for the games well if you have 21 h1 in the optional downloads you'll have to install that to actually see that update for the Xbox afterwards, or note down the Xbox fix, the KB number, and you go to the Windows Update Catalog website, enter the KB number of that download, and then manually download the version for your Windows. I know, it's, it's crazy, but it's the way that it's actually done, unfortunately. I'll post the link to the Windows Update Catalog page in the description below the video. And whatever download you want to do for a bug fixing update, you'll have to find what KB number it is and then search for it through the Windows Update catalog or check it out. So unfortunately, it's that or you install whatever optional update you see. And after that, it's going to offer you the next optional update that you have available. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.